Do not lose your hope. My uncle used to sing years ago in the church I was raised in that old, old song. I've got hope that the land is better. Woo! I've got hope that the soul lives on. I've got hope that the sun shines brighter in that land. Walking by faith until I reach my goal. Over the hills I see the lights of home. My race isn't run. My crown isn't won. But I have hope. Amen. We're not home yet. Oh, but home is surely there. I am walking in the right direction. And I have hope. I have hope that the land is better. I have hope that the soul lives on. I have hope that the sun shines brighter in that land. It may be raining down here on you right now, but all the sun is ever shining on the hills of glory. My hope is not in this world, but my hope is in the world to come. Walking by faith till I reach my goal. Over the hills I see the lights of home. My race isn't run. My crown isn't won, but I've still got hope. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you have hope tonight? Where are you placing your hope? And don't let the devil have your hope. You cannot have faith until your hope brings faith to its completeness. All your hope starts you walking towards an almighty God. Oh, and when that hope is seen by God, he turns it into faith. And the almighty God starts walking towards you. There is the difference between true faith and the worldly faith. People are trying to bypass hope. Hope has an expectation, a real expectation. I don't go, I never went to my dad in desperate need of something or in need of something. Not even desperate need, but in need of something. And said, Dad, I hope you give me my need. I went to Dad and I said, Dad, this is my need. When I say I hope, it's a testimony that I have none. When I say I hope, it is a testimony that I have none. Because hope has an expectation of receiving. It is not faith, but it is hope that garners faith. Oh, don't give up your hope. We talked about your children. Some of you here have the same testimony. I need my children to get saved. Oh, don't give up your hope. Oh, I have a hope that my church will grow. I have a hope that we can have revival. Oh, don't give up your hope. Come every night expecting this to be the night that God breaks the windows of heaven open and we see what he has promised his people. I have hope that the land is better. I have hope that the soul lives on. I have hope that the sun shines brighter in that land. Tomorrow the rain will fall upon me. The dark clouds will overshadow the sun and I will be in a dark place yet again. I, like Christian, have at times fallen. In that great book, Pilgrim's Progress, Christian fell under that great giant and he fell into that castle of despair. That giant rough handled him and shoved him into the dungeon and locked that door in that great classic. And he said, oh, I languished for days upon the ground of that dungeon as that as I heard <clears throat> that giant tell me I would never leave the confines where he had placed me. Oh, but one day I heard a voice tell me, Oh, weary Christian, reach into your bosom, for there you will find the key. <laughs> Woo! For there you will find the key. He said, and when I withdrew my hand, I had the key. Then I placed it into the lock, and I turned the key in the lock and sprung open that door in that doubting castle of despair. Oh, I came out free. Why? Because I did not give up my hope. Your hope lies in one place and one place alone. 
and that's in God. We have placed our hopes in the wrong places and blamed God when things didn't go like we thought they should go. But oh, no one who's ever placed their hope in God has ever felt let down. Don't lose your hope. Let's all stand.